video. I will show you five secret trick of Apple Studio Mobile that pros never tell you. So let's get start with my new intro. <laughs> Trick number one, how to make automation. So here you can see the sound level controller. And now I'm going to make automation of it. For making automation of anything in FS Studio Mobile, you have to fluctuate the button first and then click on the control button and press on add automation track. And then you successfully get the automation for your sound level of any track that you want to. So as you can see the sound level going down automatically because we made automation for it and this process remains the same for anything that you want to make automation for that and let me show you more example of it. Now time for secret number 2 How to make space between big projects So guys it's my Indian summer project which is little bit big project and if I want to make space between this track it will really going to take too much time for me So what is the best way to make space between them is Mark the part where you want to make this space Then click on the plus button and press on the insert space option And then you successfully get the space between your whole track Let me show you more example of it. And same process goes for deleting the space between tracks also. You just have to mark the space and press on the delete space option and the space will get removed. Now it's time for third secret trick. How to fix the tempo of audio sample when we pitch it high or low. So here I'm taking a guitar sample from Kymatic and it sound like So see if I pick up the track the tempo of the track not going to remain the same and it sounds like So you just have to do one thing to fix it just press on the synchronize button and it will fix the tempo of the track and also get pitched up and this is how it sounds now Now it's time for fourth secret trick how to fix the lag if you can't able to listen the real time output of your project because of the lag then there is only one way to fix it tap here and go to settings and on the multi core processing and you successfully fix your lag problem and it's time for secret number five how to add effects on drum sequence or how to use aux so here I have my drum sequence and I want to add effects on my kick only but if I add effects on the whole channel then it will apply to all the instrument also but I want to apply on the kick only so in this case we use aux feature so tap on the effect track you will get the effect section now open your drum sequence and tap on the aux and connect to effect track 2 now you successfully connect the kick to effect track of 2 and now if you add any effect on this section this effect was applied to the kick also so if you guys enjoy my video make sure to comment down your experience and yeah subscribe my channel for future updates hope you guys are well have a nice day bye bye